a merchant realized that he could have earned rupees 20 more if he had sold an article at a 15 percent gain instead of a 10 percent gain what is the cost price of the article now what is saying the merchant realized now 15 percent now realized uh, 20 rupees more by selling the article at 15 percent profit instead of 10 percent now what is the cost price value it is not given hence i am assuming the cost price as a 100 percent so what is the first profit percent profit percent here it is a 10 percent when the profit percent is a 10 now what is the selling price the selling price is 110 percent of its cost price the value of the selling price is not given hence i am assuming it as a x what is that condition here he is earning 20 he realized 20 rupees more by selling the article at 15 percent of the profit 15 percent profit so this is the first selling price and it is a second selling price so second selling price is 115 percent of its cost price what is the value of 115 percent the 115 percent value is 20 rupees more than the previous value previous selling price is x now new selling price is x plus 20. Now, what is the difference in these two prices? Difference in these two prices is uh, rupees 20 and difference in the percentage is 5 percent. What it mean? The 5 percent value is equal to 20 rupees. What to find? The cost price of the article. Cost price is 100 percent. So, 100 percent is equal to question mark. By doing cross multiplication, we get answer. Now, before cross multiplication, just observe the multiplication factor. 5 is becoming here 20 means it is becoming how many times? four times now what is the multiple of four here four into hundred it is a four hundred now what is the cost price for rupees four hundred right option is two by selling an article for rupees 360 a man lost 10 percent to gain 15 percent at what price it should be sold now what is the data given here now selling article at rupees 360 means selling price of the article is given 360. What is the loss? Loss is at 10 percent. Now, 10 percent is the loss means what is its cost price? Now, what is the cost? How much is the cost price means? Now, relation between the selling price, cost price and the uh, percentage of profit and loss here SP is equal to uh, CP into 100 plus or minus profit or loss percent by 100. If profit is given, add it to 100 loss is given subtract from 100. Now, ESP it is a 360 rupees now CP to be fine and 100 minus loss 100 minus 10 it is a 90 percent. So, what is the 90 percent here 90 it goes exactly 4 times the cost of the article is 400. Now, cost price is 400 he wants to make a profit of 15 percent when the cost price is 400 and the profit profit is a 15 percent now what is its selling price at what price should he sell it is the first selling price and we need to find the second now now what is it? again i am using the same formula the selling price is equal to selling price is equal to cost of price it is 400 into 100 plus 15 means 115 by 100 solving this 0 to 0 we can cancel the product of 4 and 115 it is a 460 so, at what price should he sell? It is a 460. The right answer is option 3. Of course, we can answer the same question in other way. What is the second discussion here? Now, the cost price is not given. Hence, I am assuming the cost price as a 100 percent. When the cost price is a 100 percent, the loss is a 10 percent. 10 percent loss means selling price of the article is 90 percent of the cost price. The 90 percent value is given here as a 360 rupees. He wants to make a profit of 15 percent. 15 percent profit means the selling price is equal to 115 percent of its cost price. So, what to find here? 115 percent to be find. Now, just observe the relation. By doing cross multiplication, we get, but what is the observation here? 4 times of 90 results 360, hence 4 times of 115, the value is 460. So, what is the selling price here 460 the right choice is option 3. The selling price of 40 articles is equal to the cost price of 45 articles. 
what is the profit or loss percentage. Now, what is given in this example? The condition is given selling price of 40 articles is equal to cost price of 45 articles. The selling price of the 40 articles is equal to the cost price of 45 articles means now selling price of 40 articles is equal to x rupees means now cost price of 45 articles is also x rupees. If you are assuming the selling price of the 40 articles is 100, now cost price of 45 articles is also 100. Now how to solve means by using x we can answer, by using 100 also we can answer. Now what is the other discussion means better take the LCM of these two numbers. The LCM of these two numbers LCM, LCM of 40 and 45, the LCM of 40 and 45 it is a 360. So now what is the discussion here? Selling price of 40 articles is 360 and the selling cost price of 45 articles is also 360. What is the cost of one article? 360 by 40 rupees 9. What is the selling, what is the cost price? 360 by 45 rupees 8. One article to find the profit or loss percentage, we need to observe the cost price and selling price of equal number of articles. One article cost price, one article selling price. Now, what is the condition here? The selling price is more than the cost price. Selling price is more than the cost price means results of profit. The profit is 1 rupee. So, 1 rupee is the profit upon 8 rupees. So, what is the profit percentage? Profit percentage means profit by cost price. Cost price is the 8 into 100 results 12.5 percent. What is the right option here? Choice 2. We can answer the same question in the other view. What is the second method means? Now, instead of taking LCM, just use the product of these two numbers. What is the product of these two numbers? Product is 1800. It means the selling price of the 40 articles is equal to 1800 and the cost price of the 45 articles is also 1800. Now, what is the uh, uh, cost per article? Cost per article is 1800 by 40, results 45 rupees. Similarly, what is the cost price of one article? One article means 1800 by 45, results 40. Now, here SP value is more than the CP results profit. Profit is rupees 5. 5 rupees is the profit means what is the profit percentage? Profit percentage is equal to profit by cost price. Cost price is 40 into 100. Solving this, we get 1 by 8. 1 by 8 means it is a 12 and half percent. Now, we can answer the same question in one more way. Now, just look at the condition selling price of 40 articles is equal to cost price of 45 articles. Now, now what is the discussion here? I am taking the variables on one side. Selling price by cost price is equal to 45 by 40. So, 45 by 40 means selling price is equal to 45, cost price is equal to 40. Now, selling price is more means it is a profit. Profit is rupees 5. Profit is 5 rupees means what is the profit percentage? Profit percentage means profit by cost price. The value of the cost price is 40 rupees. So, 5 by 40 into 100. Solving this, 5 it goes 8 times in 40, the result is 12 and half percent. One more discussion for the same question. Now, when the cost price of the number of articles is equal to selling price of the number of articles, then we can find the profit or loss percent by using the formula C minus S by S into 100. What does C represent? Cost of number of articles. What is the S? S represents the selling price of the number of articles. This is about the number of articles. The value of C here, it is a 45 and the S value, it is a 40 by 40 into 100. Solving this, now 5 by 40 into 100. Now, solving this, 5 it goes 8 times in 40, 1 by 8 into 100, the result is 12 and half percent. So, what is the percentage of profit? It is a 12 and half. One thing here, 45 minus 40 results positive 5. Positive number results profit, negative number means it is a loss. A trader bought a certain number of calculators at the rate of 30 for rupees 15,000 and sold them at 40 for rupees 16,000. Find the profit. What is the profit or loss percentage? What is given here? Certain number of calculators he purchased. Now, what is the price? 
the tea calculators he bought for rupees 15,000. So, 15,000 is the cost of 30 calculators means what is the cost of one calculator? One calculator cost is equal to now 15,000 by 30 results 500. The selling price now he sold 40 calculators at rupees 16,000. So, 16,000 is the value of the total 40 calculators means what is the selling price of one cal calculator 16,000 by 40 results 400. Now, just observe these two values and what is the condition here? The cost to price of the article is more than the selling price of the article. When the cost to price of the article is more than the selling price results loss. What is the loss value? CP minus SP. Now, how much it is? It is a 500 minus 400. The loss is 100 rupees. The value of loss is 100 rupees. What is the loss percentage? Loss percentage means loss by cost to price into 100. Solving this. Now, what is the cancellation? 100 by, now what is the cost to price here? If it is 500 into 100. Now, it goes how many times? 5 times. The result is 100 by 5, it is a 20 percent. The last percentage is 20. So, what is the right option? 4. Anand bought 10 cages of cashew nets for rupees 4800. He sold these at a loss equal to selling price of 2 cages of cashew nets. What is the selling price of 1 kg of cashew nets? Now, what is given here? Cost price of 10 kgs of cashew net is given. The 10 kgs of cashew net is rupees 4800, is a quantity and it is a rupees. Now, what is the observation here? Now, incurs a loss. He sold these at a loss equal to selling price, loss. What do you mean by loss? Loss means the cost price minus selling price. On purchase of 10 gauges of cashew net and by selling these 10 gauges of cashew nets, he incurs a loss. Now, he incurred a loss of a 2 selling price of 2 gauges of cashew net. The loss is a selling price of 2 gauges of cashew net on purchase of 10 gauges of cashew net and by selling those 10 gauges. On purchase of 10 gauges of cashew net and selling those 10 gauges, now incurs a loss of the selling price of 2 kgs of cash in it. By taking CP on one side, SP other side, SP 12 is equal to CP 10. The value of CP 10 is given as a 4800. Now, selling price of selling price of 12 kgs of cash in it is equal to 4800. What to find? The selling price of 1 kg of cash in it. So, selling price of 1 kg of cash in net means 4800 by 12, it is a 400 rupees. The right choice is option 2. A sold an article to B at a profit of 20 percent and B sold the article to C at a profit of 25 percent. A bought the article at a price of rupees 25,000. At what price did C buy the article? Now, what to find here? C cost price to be fine. What is the condition? A purchased the article and sold it to B at a profit of 20, B sold it to C at a profit of 25. The value of A is given here. How much? It is at 25,000. So, the value of A is at 25,000. Now, A sold to B at a profit of 20 percent. 20 percent profit means the value of 20 percent on 25,000. The 10 percent is equal to 2500. 20 percent means it is a double. How much? 5,000. So, 5,000 plus 25,000 results 30,000. That is the cost price of B. Now, B sold the same article to C at a profit of 25 percent. 25 percent profit means the value of 25 percent is a one fourth value. What is the one fourth of this? Half of half. Half is 15,000. Uh, half of that 15,000 is 7,500. The value is 7,500. By adding these two, we get 37,500. So, at what price did C buy the article means it is a 37,500. The choice is option 4. Now, second discussion for the same question here. Now, the cost price of A is 25,000 and he sold it to B at a profit of 20 percent. 20 percent profit means when the cost price is 100, 20 percent profit means 120 percent. So, 120 percent of the 25,000 is the value of B. 
B sold the article to C at a profit of 25 percent means when you assume this whole part as a 100 percent, 25 percent profit means 125 by 100. Simplify this results the value of C. What is the value of C? That is the final value. Now look at this one, the cancellation. Now four zeros in the denominator, we can cancel with the four zeros in the numerator. The product of these numbers is the answer. Now 12 into 25 results 300. 300 into 125, the result is 37500. Now what is the format here? Now we are discussing the question in the form of initial value into 100 plus or minus increase or decrease in the percentage by 100 whole power n is a final value. What is the initial value? Initial value is the 25,000. So, what is the percentage increase? 20 percent first time, second time 25 percent. What do you mean by n? We can apply this percentage increase or decrease for n number of times to find the final result. The final result is the C purchase price. What is the cost price of C means? It is a 37,500. A shopkeeper claims to sell rice at cost price, but he weighs only 1200 grams for every 1350 grams. What is the profit percentage of the trader? Now, what is the condition here? The trader is claiming, a shopkeeper is claiming that he is selling the articles at its cost price. But what is the mischief here? Now, for every 1350 grams, for every 1350 grams, he is weighing only. 1200 grams means this is the actual weight and it is a false weight. Now what he is doing here? He is making a defraud in measurement. So what is the defraud in the measurement here? It is a 150 grams. 150 grams is making a defraud means 150 is a profit to the trader. So 150 is the profit by measuring a 1200 grams instead of 13. 50. So, what is the profit percent means? 150 by 1200 into 100. Now, the cancellation the zeros to 0 we can cancel. Now, simplify this 6 it goes how many times? 2 times uh, 6 here 25 times 25 by 2 the answer is 12.5 percent. What is the right choice? Option 1.